for Year 12 Specialist that comes out of 9F question number 5. Differential equations with related rates. So I've got a spherical droplet. So here is my spherical drop of water. So its volume will be 4 thirds pi r cubed and its surface area will be 4 pi r squared taken from the formula sheets. So if dv dt is minus 2i squared, it's going to be minus 2 times 4 pi r squared squared, which will be minus 32 pi squared r to the 4. That's what dv dt is going to be. Now they're asking us to generate a differential equation for dr dt, which will be the chain of derivatives and a dv there and a dv there. So if I take the derivative of v with respect to r, I get dv dr, which is 4 pi r squared, which means dr dv is 1 on 4 pi r squared, and dv dt is minus 32 pi squared r to the 4. That will give me minus 8 pi r squared is dr dt. And that's my answer for part A. Part B says solve when I know that initially r equal 2. Okay, so dt dr is going to be negative 1 on top of 8 pi r squared, which means that t will be the integral of negative 1 on 8 pi r to the minus 2 dr, which means t equals negative 1 on 8 pi r to the negative 1 on negative 1 plus some constant c, which means that t equals 1 on 8 pi r plus c. And initially it's 2, so 0 equals 1 on 16 pi plus c, therefore c equals negative 1 on 16 pi, which means that t equals minus 1 on 8 pi r minus 1 on 16 pi, which means t plus 1 on 16 pi equals negative 1 on 8 pi r, so that is... Um, 16 pi t plus 1 on 16 pi equals negative 1 on 8 pi r, which means 8 pi r equals negative 1 16 pi on top of 16 pi t plus 1. which means that r will equal negative 2 on top of 16 pi t plus 1. An expression for r in terms of t. And just double checking that. Um, that should be a positive, which means that's 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 a positive. Okay, so that's part b done. And part C says you sketch this, and I can do that on my calculator. And then I sketch A against T. Well, A is equal to 4 pi r squared, which means I'll put this and go 4 pi times 2 squared on top of 16 pi T plus 1 squared, and that can be easily done on the calculator.